Hey, Amber. As we all know by now, Amber is traveling. Her uploads aren't up to date, so she's currently with Tommy in Wisconsin. Sexual activity. That leaves us with two recent uploads where she's just packing. Prepare for some riveting content. Okay, you guys, welcome to a new vlog. Hello, hello. So I'm just like packing. I am packing because I am traveling, I feel. And I still have not been packed because I'm a perfectionist. I have to like lay everything out that I'm taking first. Like, I don't know why I do that. I know for sure I'm gonna be taking these purses. Like, I'm gonna take this one so I can put like my laptop and support things like that. This one, this one, and I'm also gonna take this one because I ordered a freaking traveling jewelry case. It's supposed to be really cute, and it was supposed to be like a box, a really cute box, and it was supposed to come with these little guys where you put the jewelry in this and then you put it in the um, jewelry box, but the jewelry box never came. I also did not get my hygiene bag. It's like I had like a hygiene bag that I was gonna put all my hygiene products in. Like Amazon is not cute right now. Like, what are you doing? Just since I got the little tiny things for my jewelry, I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna actually pack my jewelry in? I'm just gonna put it in this purse. Why not? I'm gonna lay all my bed though, which I do, I try to do multiple times a week. Because I have three crew babies that love to lay on my bed. Watch out, baby girl. See me. You see me. You want to go traveling? You want to travel with mamas? And now if you guys follow me into my bathroom, this is hectic. So all of this would be in my hygiene bag, but it was never delivered to me. It's supposed to be here literally two days ago. I contacted Amazon. They're like, sorry, we can't help you with that. And I'm like, okay, thanks. Y'all will never believe this. Like I was talking mad crap about Amazon. I just got an email from my apartment complex. They just did an audit on all of like the packages and my packages were just put in the wrong spot. So let's finally go get my hygiene bag. Okay, so I actually got three packages and tomorrow I'm getting one more bag just for like traveling. Now for my hygiene bag, it literally just says wash bag. This is what your girl was waiting for and stress over. And then I also got this cute bag. So the one that I'm getting tomorrow is literally just this and this combined. All right, you guys, I'm just so very glad that I have another bag coming tomorrow that resembles this. It's not the cutest thing ever. I really wanted this one like strictly for like in the shower type of stuff, but it didn't work out that way. It's fine. So earlier the fire alarm went off and we've had some false fire alarms go off. And when that happens, we have to evacuate our pets and ourselves and go outside. But that literally happened today. And I just went ahead and assumed it was, you know, a false one. But afterwards, when we were allowed back in the apartment, we got an email literally saying that there was an actual fire. In the email, they said that everyone was okay. Oh, and also I went outside earlier, and I swear I thought I saw a UFO. It was just a drone. If the aliens come, we're gonna be like best friends. I might introduce them to Legos. Oh, she's heavy. Hot oh, damn, this is heavy. I mean, big girl, big clothes, you know what I'm saying? I support genocide. Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. So tomorrow's actually the day where I leave. I'm going on a little vacation type deal. This is the fourth I'm traveling vlog and she still hasn't mentioned where the hell she's going yet. And I leave tomorrow at 5 a.m. in the morning. So <laughs> I am really, really excited, but I'm also like anxious and nervous because traveling at my size is a little scary and it's harder than the average, obviously. I don't know if you guys remember my hygiene bag saga, but I did say that I have another one coming in today that is literally this one and this one just combined. And I just got the notification, so let's go get it. I just came back from the package room. Look how cute! This literally could not have worked out more perfect. Shower stuff. I need to go in the bathroom, hygiene stuff. 
perfume, lotion, body spray, and then just like miscellaneous like hair stuff, melatonin. This worked out perfectly. Is it just me or is this a lot of crap for a little vacation type deal? So if you guys know me, then you know that I get like emotionally attached to blankets. So I have to bring my blankets with me. Bruh. So I am washing them. I literally just washed them last week, but I don't know. I feel the need to do it again. Not gonna lie, I usually wash my blankets only once a month. All right, so I went through my jewelry and I picked out all of the jewelry that I want to take with me and just put it in this little container because my jewelry is actually going to be in these little pouches, which I ordered from Amazon, which was supposed to come with a jewelry box and it never came. I searched Amazon and found what I believe to be the exact listing of these jewelry pouches, including the jewelry box. However, half of these appear to be white, unlike the ones she has shown us on camera. There's a second selection of the listing which I believe our girl mistakenly ordered, which is why she never received the jewelry box that was allegedly supposed to come with it. That is hectic. Oh my god, I love this. And you just snap it shut like that. So then I'm just gonna take all of the pouches and put them in this purse, which I was supposed to have a jewelry box for that. But you know what? I didn't get it, and you guys are never gonna hear the end of it. Girl, I don't think you ordered the right selection. Moment of truth. Looks like I don't have to put this one sideways. And this one. So that fits. But now the clothes test. Does it zip up? Yes, it does. So this is why I owe my mom money. I bought her car. Wait, oh, I'm taking it out. I'm buying. <laughs> we rented a car, a minivan. Chrysler minivan. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole moment. That is how I'm getting to my girlfriend. <laughs> she offered to take me. I was gonna literally go on a plane. And I she did. offered. And my stepdad's coming. So, give me a whole moment. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you, bye. I'm in love. <laughs> My question is like, why did you have to do this like publicly? That's the part where I'm just like, that's hectic. Like you contacted the very reaction channel that like genuinely hurts me to my core. Plus I find entertainment in the two reaction channels that I do watch. I do enjoy it. It's not a what you mean. Like, I fully, I fully support that, like, you have your opinions. Like, I support that because, like, I also have mine. But, like, to go and do that, like, you hurt me on a level that's just, like, not okay. I'm your friend. I'm not her friend. If you guys break up, I'm still gonna be you. But I'm not. I want to be with Tommy for, like, ever. Like, I genuinely love her. And, like, you know that and you've seen that and I've expressed it and I've. But how many times have you called me crying your eyes out? Because it's the most outlandish shit that she has said to you. No. Do you not remember? No. Like she's never ever gone through something like this. Like this has been so hard for her. And then like for her late fiance to be like talked about in the way that she has, it's horrible because she was such an amazing woman. Like it's not okay. It has left her very low. And during low times, well, maybe she should have taken the time to heal before she. Oh got my god, finished. Alexis, I'm not doing this actually on live. Like I get kind of like. And oh like, one of the specific comments that she made to you was awful. I would never say that to a partner. No. You put me and your audience on hold while you're in a live is crazy behavior. I think I'm disassociating or having like an out of body experience right now. And it's like that comment hurt you more than it hurt me. And I'm just over here like. Doing it live doesn't change the way that I respond to you. That's all I gotta say. Um, I beg to differ. I am just as much as you are hurt. I am also hurt. Okay, this is clearly taking a toll on me. Even though I know I was the one to take a step out, it doesn't really matter. I still am hurt. That was cringy. That was should have been private. Everything. Why can't you ever just be happy for me? She's never ever done anything to hurt me. She's only made me feel safe and loved, which is absolutely not true. Do you know how many hours I had to sit on the phone with this girl because she didn't want to be alone, because Tommy was being absolutely awful to her, ignoring her, telling her she doesn't want to talk to her, telling her she misses her ex who has passed away, and in the meantime, responding to people and talking poorly about Amberlynn to these random people on Instagram, and you have the balls to sit here and tell people she and me, including, she's so amazing, she's never done anything to hurt you. You are a liar. Hey, Amber. Yeah? Hi. <laughs> Yeah. So Alexis, Amber, and Tommy are all hanging out together in Wisconsin. After the whole spectacle both Alexis and Amber put online, this looks trashy. Especially because Alexis admits that she's basically third wheeling. Amberlynn told Alexis where her and Tommy were at, and Alexis hauled ass over to meet up with her ex-bestie and her feeder girlfriend that she trash talked online. Obviously Alexis was an afterthought, which was what she had been ranting about online last month. On her TikTok, people tried to point this out, but Alexis wasn't having it. Imagine your BFF not making the trip to see you for a year, so you crash in third wheel when she does for her partner she's known two months. This season of the L word is whole ass. Alexis replies, Imagine me literally not caring about a single thing that anyone in this entire world says about me, to me. Another TikTok user responds to Alexis with, I think they're just saying Amber should have made you more of a priority. Alexis replies, I hear you, but my statement still stands. So, Alexis is receiving a lot of backlash now, 
she has lost a lot of subscribers on her YouTube channel after posting that TikTok with Amber. She's also paused comments on her channel. Anyways, Amber has recently uploaded a new video about her road trip to Wisconsin. We'll be diving into that upload soon. Toodles. I've been putting together expert Legos, expert Legos, expert Legos, expert... Keep in mind, I have Legos. Rain and pedals, these drop. Huh? You're a lot. Huh? Expert Legos.